This is a video on Starlink's forces, forces that control filtration across the capillaries. Consider a sweet like a jewel. It has some protein, maybe 2 gram of protein and water. The amazing thing is that it holds water. Similarly, the capillary oncotic pressure, the capillary oncotic pressure that is the colloid osmotic pressure due to the plasma proteins in the capillaries. holds water and prevents filtration prevents filtration thereby it holds water contrast this with the capillary hydrostatic pressure which is due to the blood pressure and it promotes filtration it promotes filtration the balance of the fluid is maintained by the balance between these two forces the capillary hydrostatic pressure and the capillary oncotic pressure There are two other pressures in the interstitium, the interstitial fluid hydrostatic pressure, which as you guessed it right, opposes filtration. It prevents filtration. And the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure which draws blood or it promotes filtration now consider a case of nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome is characterized by loss of large amount of protein in urine so naturally the plasma protein concentration decreases and the capillary oncotic pressure decreases which favors filtration leading to edema leading to edema collection of fluid in the interstitium In congestive heart failure, the heart fails as a pump. The pump failure leads to backward changes and collection of fluid in the veins so what happens to the capillary hydrostatic pressure it increases and this promotes filtration across the capillaries leading to edema so to summarize there are two main forces the capillary oncotic pressure which prevents filtration capillary hydrostatic pressure promotes filtration 
in nephrotic syndrome there is loss of proteins in urine resulting in decrease in capillary oncotic pressure and filtration and edema while in congestive cardiac failure the capillary hydrostatic pressure increases leading to edema thank you i am dr swapnil